At an old beach club, aside Long Island's Great South Bay, there is something going on that looks like a cheesy science fiction show from the 1970s. And the lights do what? They just help them grow. Algae grows better with uh, red and blue lights, so that's why we have red and blue LEDs specifically. Yeah. LEDs to grow algae, explains Matt Layton, because that's what oysters eat. And here at the Islip Town Hatchery, where Matt is manager, they grow a lot of oysters. And how many oyster larvae are in these things? Millions. Millions. We could have a million plus per conical, depending on how well the spawn goes. Really? A yep. million plus? One, two, three, four. And how many are there? Uh, there's 32. So potentially 32 million oyster larvae in just this room alone. When this room's full, yes. That is crazy. We're doing everything we can to help bring back the oysters. Here they grow tiny oyster eggs into mini mollusks, which they in turn sell to oyster farmers. You buy them by the thousand. Buy them by the thousand. Buy them by the thousand. Right. So typically an order for us would be 100,000, 200,000 a year per farmer. Really? Yeah. Wow, this is, they're not messing around. These little bivalves will grow up to be famous Blue Point oysters, so good Queen Victoria would eat no other. They can only be called Blue Points if they were grown in the Great South Bay, just like Champagne can only be Champagne if it's from Champagne, France. They can only be Blue Point oysters if they're from our waters. That's it. There should be a little trademark on these guys. A little right. stamp for yeah. each one. <laughs> out on the bay, you see the oyster farms, plots purposely laid out and leased by the town of Islip. The purpose, to restore a once thriving industry and to restore the environment. So is this your farm? Is this, this your is oyster farm. farm? This is our farm, yeah. How big? Uh, it's a total of six acres. Six acres. Sixto Portilla is a college professor turned oyster farmer. He's witnessed the environmental change firsthand. Oysters popping up well beyond his field. Because there are natural sets now on pilings, on rocks, jetties, all over. And these oysters were not here beforehand. They were here 100 years ago, but they haven't been here in recent history. That's pretty amazing. That's Absolutely. That's... We're really having an impact. You know, I credit the town of Islip for having the initiative. In nearby Bayshore, we thought it appropriate to taste the local fare at Salt and Barrel Restaurant with proprietor Ryan Flynn. What do you think it means to your customers to know that these oysters came from 10 minutes that way? I think we live in a culture that people want to know where their food is sourced from. So knowing that it comes in the back door less than two miles away to create a real tied to table experience, I think it's really special. Tied to table. Yeah. I had never heard that phrase before. Islip Town Supervisor Angie Carpenter told us their 125 acres of bay bottom is about leased out. So? We got permission from the New York State DEC to do another 1,500 acres. Do another 1,500? 1,500. 1,500 acres out there in the bay. And wow. we have a waiting list of people clamoring to be there. So the possibilities are just so exciting. Queen Victoria would be impressed. Mm. Right, and you, this is this kind of thing is happening all up and down the East Coast and the Gulf Coast. Yep. You've done this story out on the West Coast. This thing is really, really happening. And here's your quick quiz. Okay. Yep. Oyster, bivalve, or mollusk? Mollusk. mollusk. I already know. So I think can't. mollusk. Mollusk? Both. Oh. Uh, trick question. Trick question. There it is. Mary, that was it really is. good. Tied that to fun? Tied to table. Tied to table. Tied to table. Tied to table. You know the bad part? You didn't bring any. I know. <laughs> Darn it. The highlight of that story was, was still the slurp at the beginning. At the beginning. <laughs> we enjoyed that here. We do what we can. Uh, thank you. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.